Hi guys and welcome to this video on Scalar Multiplication. Not easy to say actually. Um, this was the second take of this. My name is Darren Mascaru. Welcome to my video and to my YouTube channel if you're watching. And if you are, please subscribe or masguru.com where all these videos have downloadable notes, time codes, exam questions, and so, so much more coming up. Ooh, now what are we dealing with today? Well, we've been dealing with matrices. We've added and subtracted them. We know what they are. We've looked at elements. We know our orders. Now what are we going to deal with? Yes, we're going to multiply. Well, sort of. We're going to multiply by a scalar. What on earth is a scalar? That's coming up in just a moment. Not scaly. That's weird. Scalar. Now we're going to be able to do this by hand and using a CAS cutting. Why? Because well, this is a cow's course. All right. So let's recap our past learning. I'm sort of showing you a little bit here of what we're coming up with anyway. In a previous video, we looked at the idea that we could use our cows to define or store a variable. Yes. Okay. So what I've done in a previous uh, stage uh, when I use this screen is I said, well, I'm going to let A equal this matrix here. And then at the end of the video, I said, well, okay, what if we wanted to double all of the values inside that matrix? Well, I could tell the calculator to do it just by doing 2a. Well, ladies and gentlemen, guess what that number 2 is? That number 2 there is what we call a scalar. And when we multiply a vector by a scalar, oh, now hold on, did I say vector? I meant matrix. Don't tell anyone. But when I multiply a matrix by a scalar, it multiplies every single element by that number. And what you notice there is yes, every single number, the 57 doubled, 63 doubled, 48 doubled. And that's why we use our CAS calculator. It makes life so, so much easier. So scalar multiplication is basically when we have every single element of a matrix multiplied by one single number. So if I had matrix B was equal to 1, 2, 4, and 6, changing it up, and I wanted to do 5b, then all I'm going to do is do this, 5 times 1, 2, 4, and 6. And if I was going to do it by hand, that's how I'd write it out. We could miss the time sign out. A lot of people would just write it as 5, 1, 2, 4, and 6. I find that a little confusing myself, but that's scalar multiplication. Now, in that situation, what I remember I've got to do is multiply each of the values inside by 5. So 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 5 is 10, 4 times 5 is 20, and 6 times 5 is 30. And lo and behold, that then would be the answer to 5b. Difficult? No, not at all. This is why I love <sighs> matrices. All right, so I'm not going to use the CAS at the moment because many of these you can actually do by hand. So if a is equal to, what is it? 5, 1, minus 3, and 0. What have we got to find? 3a is going to be 3 times that vector then. That's right. I keep saying vector. Sorry, guys. I meant matrix. And so what do we do? When it's a scalar multiple, we multiply absolutely everything by that. So 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times minus 3 is minus 9. And 3 times 0 is 0. Please do not be screaming at me again. That's 3. No, it isn't. Anything divided times by 0 is in fact 0. What about this? Now, real-world matrices, the whole point of matrices is to have them real-world. And if you remember again from the previous video, we looked, I think it was the very first video, we looked at the idea that we could have an amount of clothing to stand for the number of hats, coats, and belts sold on a Friday and a Saturday. All right, so how would this be useful to us? Well, it might well be that a gymnasium has enrollments in courses shown in the matrix. The manager wishes to double the enrollments in each course. Now, BB, A, F, aerobics, fitness, uh, BB, got no idea, men and women. So they want to double the enrollments. So what would that be wanting us to do? We would basically then be wanting to work out 2E. So again, how are we going to do this? Well, I'm going to open my square bracket. I'm not going to close it for the moment because I don't know how big this thing is going to be. But I'm going to multiply everything by 2. So that's going to become 140. 20 times 2 is 40, 160, 20, 100, 120. Close it. Make sure we put the column headings on top. And I'm just going to write men and women. And lo and behold, by hand, I've just done scalar multiplication. And all now my members have been debelled. Now, to move this a little bit more funky and a little bit more complicated, it's not complicated. 
What am I gonna do? I'm gonna combine. We've done adding and subtraction and we now know how to do scalar multiplication. So let's mix them together. All right, so we've been told A is 1101, B is 0110. Find the matrix equal to 2A minus 3B. Now, write this out as if it was an actual sum. That's my advice to you. So I'm gonna write two times, what was A, 1101. And I'm gonna add, oh, sorry, that's supposed to be a subtract. Three lots of B, which is zero, one, one, and zero. Okie dokie, so I'm gonna multiply, put the times in there. Two lots of that gives me two, two, zero, and two. Minus three lots of that is gonna be zero, three, three, and zero. So that's my scalar multiplication done twice. Now I'm just gonna subtract them. Are they the same order? Yes, they are. So I'm just gonna subtract elements. So two minus zero is two. Two minus three is minus one. Zero minus three is minus three. And two minus zero gives me two. And ka-ching, ladies and gentlemen, there is two A minus three B. Now, obviously we can use our CAS to do all of this. And there are some examples here of me doing my CAS. So four more screens until the end of this video for you just to check along. All right, so if a CAS course tells me that A is that and B is that, find A plus B. So what you can see in the top screen here, and it's gonna be the same on every one of my screens, I've defined my vector as A, or I've stored that in A, and I've stored that in B. And then what have I said? Right, I want to work out A plus B. So all I did was type in a plus B, and what came out? My answer, ka -ching. nice and easy. I didn't have to keep typing in all these matrices, which is a pain. I just defined them and I moved on. So A plus B would be six, three, six, five. What about A minus B? Let's do that one now. Well, the same. I've just used the same screens, but this time I've just done A minus B, and I've got minus two, minus nine, four, and nine. Reckon it's getting a difficult? Nah, nine A, what do you reckon I did? Well, I've already got A in my uh, memory, so I just nine times A, which gave me 18, minus 27, 45, and 63. And it doesn't matter how big the numbers get or if I'm combining these type of things, what do I get? 15 A minus 11 B gives me, well, there you go, minus 14, minus 111, 64, and 127. Now, all of these could have actually been a real world situation. We don't know, and to be honest with you, I don't really care, because it's the end of this video. There's a couple more minutes left. If you can watch it, I'd be deeply, deeply grateful. Otherwise, hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care, and please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Yes, this is the end of another video. If you haven't already done so, can you click on my subscribe button? Yes, it doesn't mean anything other than the fact that I know that you are watching. Yes, it's greatly appreciated. Otherwise, I feel like I'm sitting here just talking to myself. And then, yes, there is mathsguru.com, of which you can see a still of now. And what is over there? Well, all the videos ordered by textbook, ordered by topic. You can search for the videos. You can download notes time codes, exam questions, and so, so much more coming up. Yeah, it's absolutely free to join. So I'm done. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in another video. Give me a shout out to your mates if you can. I just want to make sure that everyone finds maths interesting and easy. All right, take care, guys. See you again. Bye-bye. Stay safe.